Check out the celebration in Lake Placid on Saturday, marking that amazing moment 35 years ago today when America's ragtag Olympic hockey team stunned the Soviet juggernaut and sent a jolt of joy all across America with an upset for the ages. ABC's Ryan Smith puts that miracle on ice in our Sunday Spotlight. It was the height of the Cold War. The Soviets ignored President Carter's deadline for a troop withdrawal. Tension soaring. But for two weeks in 1980, the entire world shifted focus to a remote town in upstate New York. For these 13 games of winter. Where the U.S. hockey team would carve out a surprising spot in Olympic history. Well, the Soviets were the hopes of their country, but they were also big favorites, so everybody expected them to win. Legendary sports announcer Al Michaels remembers the Lake Placid games were in the Cold War's shadow from the start. What better place to play out a Cold War than on a sheet of ice in Lake Placid, New York? But for U.S. team captain Mike Ruzioni, the focus was only on the game. For us, it was still a hockey game. It, it had nothing to do with what was happening globally, but the crowd, their reaction was us against them, uh, freedom versus communism, uh, the threat of a Cold War. Once we did get to the medal round, it was like one day of, oh my God, the United States is playing the Soviets. And then I think the political aspect came into play even more. Still, the odds weren't on the American side until they dropped the puck. When they tied the game 3-3 in the third period, now you're thinking, well, wait a minute, anything can happen. And Mike Arruzzioni scores with 10 minutes to go. Now it's 4-3. Now it's like, what are, what are we seeing here? Can this really be? As the clock wound down, those final seconds of an improbable American win became an iconic moment in sports and U.S. history. Al Michaels captured it in one of the greatest calls ever. that came into my head was miraculous. Miraculous got morphed into a question, and there you have it. That just came out of my heart, as simple as that. I kept saying, I can't believe we beat the Russians, I can't believe we beat the Russians, and the celebration uh, was incredible. After that game, it, it made you want to hug your television set. I mean, it just made the country feel so much better about itself. The game, forever dubbed the miracle on ice, a win for the ages, spanning beyond sports. It's so different than so many other things that we remember. If you're old enough, uh, you remember Pearl Harbor, JFK's assassination. We knew where we were when the Challenger blew up in 1986, and obviously we all remember September 11th, 2001. Those were all terrible events. When you think back to Lake Placid, it's a beautiful event. So it's one of those things where people say, yeah, I remember where I was, and they do it with a big smile on their face. That's a different deal. For this week, Ryan Smith, ABC News, New York. That game was so much fun. And we end with some good news. The Pentagon did not release any names of service members killed in Afghanistan this week. That's all for us today. Thanks for sharing part of your Sunday with us. Check out World News tonight, then all our Oscar coverage starting at 7 Eastern with the red carpet special. And I'll be joining our whole GMA team in L.A. for our special Oscar show tomorrow. See you then.